Right then, hello and welcome back to the Swedish Touring Car Championship, getting ready for race two of the weekend and round eight of the championship as we also head into the halfway stage of this series. So uh, yeah, another dominant performance yesterday, another 20 points on the board. Let's see if we can replicate that today for round eight of the championship. And this is how the grid looks for race number two. Then Tommy Rustad and Jens Edmund on row number one. Then you got Carl Rosenblad and Frederick Ekblom on row two. Row three is Pegan Anderson and Jan Nilsson. Row four is Tommy Christofferson and Matthias Ekstrom. Row five, Hubert Berg and Netten Lindgren. A good performance for her in the Peugeot 406. Row six is uh, Thomas Johansson and Stefan Lindberg. Thomas Shee and Thomas Engstrom on row number seven and row eight is Jan Brunsted and myself in 16th place. So here we go then, round eight, halfway through the series and away we go. Netten already dropping back. He's gonna barrel up the inside and take seventh place. Superb start. The leader slowly pulling away from everybody else, but that's all right. We'll be able to reel him in. Getting a lot used to the breaking points now, thanks to uh, race number one. And lovely sweepers. Look at how much speed we can carry through there. Dive up the inside of the BMW and then getting ready to take the position away from the Nissan Primera with another left hand sweeper just getting the back end out just a little bit and again blaming cold tires for this even though I don't think they actually simulated the cold tires in this game uh, I'm just going to put it down to that excuse anyway. And that is lap one complete. 12 laps to go. Yesterday's second place podium finisher. Currently in second. We'll make quick work of him, though. Catching up very swiftly. See if we can beat our lap time as well today of a 123.88. Oh, not like that. Oh, we've spun it. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh, and getting whacked in the rear as well by the other Primera. Well, that is very unfortunate indeed. So now the top two have pulled away. Not to an unassailable lead. We'll be able to catch that back up, I would hope. Is another lap complete? Ah, yeah, they're just up ahead. It's fine. Just about to see a tiny little pixel of the Nissan Primera leading the way. Gaining back on the Volvo as well. Mm -hmm. 
See our secret weapons. Luckily for us, we can actually take the last, well, second to last corner flat out if we desire. This corner in particular. Flat to the floor. Just blipping a little bit of the throttle. But look how much time we gain just from literally going flat out. And we're only 5.5 seconds adrift of Tommy Rustad in the lead. We should be able to take second place in just a moment if we can get these corners right, which we can't. Well, we didn't lose that much time. Should be able to take second place going through the left-hander. Yeah, we can break later than him. So Jens Edmund is dropped into third. He's trying to get it back, though. And Tommy Rustad is literally just up ahead. We'll catch him quicker if the car would stop bloody sliding. Nine laps to go. See, the thing that's put me off is because the analog stick is slightly drifting, I have to keep making minute corrections. That's why the car, you see it now and again, like, flipping left and right. I'm just trying to make minute corrections to the steering, but because the steering is so sensitive on this game, it's um, a, lot, well, a lot easier said than done, and then that happens. work to do again. Tommy Rustad just heads into turn number one. Yeah, the only way I can describe the sensitivity of the handling is it feels more like a D-pad than it does an analog stick. And when you have a drifting analog stick, uh, it tends to be a bit of a pain. I don't think we're losing a massive amount of time though, which is the main thing, as long as we can catch up to Tommy up ahead, might have a chance. Yeah, he's only just there, so I don't see why not. I'd say he's about seven seconds up the road. Let's have a look. Oh, 4.4. .4. Okay, it's a lot closer than I thought. Seven laps remaining. So we're almost halfway through the race.
We were cutting it very fine there going around that turn. I thought we were going to touch the grass and probably end up spinning. Just about got away with it. And look at that, make up all that lost time. Catch right up onto the back of Rustad. Oh, we were actually faster on our lap time as well by 0 0.06 of a second. So we now have a 123.4. Come on, little car, you can catch up to him. Slowly creeping up on him. As the other back markers are making their way onto the back straight. No! Oh, why did you do that? Well, that was one way to recover from it. Not the way I would have liked, but it was something. 2.6 seconds adrift. Five laps remaining. See if we get a 122 as well, that'll be nice. Nope. Not gonna happen now. That was the, uh... I noticed that was gonna happen because the controller decided to start drifting to the right. That's why it decided to go towards the grass, so... Didn't really have much in the way of controlling that, unfortunately. And Tommy Rusta has gone off into the distance. Oh, joy. See, it, it's only, it only does it now and again on the smallest of inputs. It doesn't do it all the time, which is really annoying. And it doesn't matter how fast or slow you're going either. It will still try and spin you no matter what. So we're now five seconds adrift. I mean, I do complain a lot about this controller drifting, but I do have a spare. I just want to get as much use out of this one as I possibly can before I end up swapping it out. Or I might just end up selling this one on eBay as, you know, spares or repair, so if someone can fix this and put some new joints or whatever inside it and get it all into tip-top shape and working order, then fair play to them. I fear that we may not get another victory. Might actually be stuck in second. 
Oh, unless the back marker plays a role, yeah, it could work. You know how effective they were at holding up the leaders during the last couple of races. Let's see if this works to our advantage. Ah, no, I don't think it will because he's already got past him. Ah, well, that's a bit of a pain. Voxel bloody didn't do his job. It did hold him up long enough for me to actually catch him. And there's another car up ahead, so... This could work. We'll have two laps to go after this one. Oh, we got another fastest lap time as well. And it looks like we're going to pass Tommy Rustad for the lead with two laps to go. If the Honda can hold him up, and he can. Thank you very much. Now I just got to keep it. Probably easier said than done, but we are coming on a coming up on a, a little gaggle of cars now. No, oh, don't do that now, you absolute moron. Oh, you son of a bitch. Stop sliding, you stupid piece of garbage, and move. Well, we'll have one more lap to try and get the victory. Will we do it? Find out on the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z. No, actually, no, that's the wrong show. Oh, he's just there. Final lap. On back marker, slow down the leader. It doesn't look like they are. Uh, oh, they may have done then. Yep, he was caught up on the Stratus, who's lost a hell of a load of positions. Oh, Rustad didn't like that. He just whacked me up the rear. Oh, this is getting feisty. Get up the inside of the Stratus, get out of the way. No! Oh no, 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 come on, come on. No. God damn it, the bloody car has to handle all weird. Oh, and again, oh for God's sake, why? On the last lap, and now the car won't turn properly. We had this race won. God damn it. Well, not the kind of result I was looking for, unfortunately, but it's second place, which should still increase our lead in the championship. So Tommy Rustag gets a victory, I finish second, and Jens Edmund finished third on the podium. And this is the current point standings. As you can see, I'm all the way down in seventh place, but that is because I have to restart the championship each and every time I record a session of this. So uh, in reality, this is what the points look like now. So yes, I should still be increasing my lead in the championship, which is fairly good. And that concludes the halfway distance of the championship. Eight races down, eight to go. 
And uh, I will see you all next time then as we start the second half of the Swedish Touring Car Championship. Thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.